was Monday the bottom for the stock market? I, 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 we'll have to see, but I think there's a good chance that it probably wasn't. Um, what we know about bottoms is that they do take time. Um, I think where we're pricing, what we're pricing in now in the market is consistent with recession pricing. On Friday, we dipped slightly below the 2300 mark. The market was starting to tell us that something more onerous than an ordinary recession was at hand. And I think that possibility is still out there. We really don't know what's going to happen um, in terms of the path of this virus. And I think that's really the most important thing for markets right now. Lisa, what do you think? Uh, I don't think we're ready to declare a bottom either, uh, but I guess where, you know, we might differ is, you know, we are pretty constructive on the amount of firepower that is being thrown um, at this problem. If you think about what the Fed has done in under the guise of whatever it takes, um, it is highly likely we're going to see a Fed balance sheet that is approaching uh, you know, six to eight trillion dollars before this is all over. Um, the U.S. is probably the U.S. government is probably going to spend some somewhere upwards of the two trillion dollars in the bill uh, in the three bills that have that have you know thus far been proposed. And I think when you take those two things in total, you're talking about a massive, massive commitment you know, in order of magnitude of, you know, 9 to 10 percent of U.S. GDP uh, in aggregate. Um, and so while, you know, we recognize that, that you know, the, the health care related part of the crisis is not over, um, you know, what we do want to remind people uh, is that never before in the history of our country ever, including in, in the financial crisis, um, have policymakers worked this fast this bold, in yeah. this kind of size, um, you know, relative to GDP, um, you know, to, to mitigate. And so I do think that there's reason um, to be constructive. Laura, you said you did not think that Monday was necessarily the bottom. If not, how much more do you think could be on the downside? Well, you know, it's interesting. A, a lot of, you know, sort of in the trading community, a lot of people are talking about 2,000, 2,100. That seems to be the consensus that's starting to emerge. And my gut says uh, we could probably trade a little bit below that. If you just look at how bad we got hit in the tech bubble, um, about a 49% drop peak to trough, that would take you down to around 1,700. Um, so I think, you know, if we sort of don't see the market hold, you know, around this 23 300 level, that would be the next level that I'd frankly be worried about. Um, and, you know, I just want to echo something Lisa said. You know, we do think that the stimulus that's coming through is extraordinary. My year end target for the S&P 500 is 2750. Um, but I'll also tell you that my earnings estimate for next year for the S&P is lower than what we had in 2019. And I think there's not enough conversation going on around the street right now about yeah. how behavior is changing and what's the longer term fallout from this.